You can't start off no job at no eighteen dollars an hour. You're gonna have to put your pride to the side and go for seven, uh, eight dollars until you motherfucking work your way up in the food chain like everybody else. You can't go out there and get no fifteen, twenty dollars. It's it's over for it. You know what I'm saying? You fuck that up. We didn't, and we ain't nobody else do that. Nah, it's shit. Sorry, sorry, it had to happen to you, but shit, the world goes on. The world don't stop. That's my whole thing. And it and nut to go back to the other situation. If that girl Sheree is toting around motherfucking ten thousand dollar bags, deuces to you because that means you motherfucking doing your shit. You shouldn't have to motherfucking sell one of them bags to go sell, to uh take care of some motherfucking kids. Yes, who ain't, you should. So, so if it gets down to that, but as long as if you can take him to court before you do it, then take his motherfucking ass to court. And for him to give even other feedback. He didn't even give a proper feedback to even make her, you know, saying doubt what she was doing. Maybe he could have been like, him. maybe she still love him. Just think about that. So, anyways, think, about once, think about that. <laughs> so, anyways, he could have been like, you know, so, baby, I am Sheree. Sheree. I'm so sorry. I can't do it. I'm barely getting by. I'm retired. Woo, 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 woo. And I'm sure if she been holding off for four years, if he would have came to her in that manner, then. She would have worked some shit out. This nigga like um uh, she Yeah, because she cheated you no know, ass she cheated on him, so you gotta understand where he coming from. <laughs> she didn't cheat on him. So why the divorce? Because he's uh, he's he cheated on her, I'm sure. Uh. <laughs> oh <clears throat> why we own gold diggers and uh athletes <clears throat> and all that shit. So Kobe and the wifey is getting a divorce. Got a divorce. I'm so glad Kobe finally divorced that girl. I'm so glad she finally divorced him because that's what happened and he's trying to get her love back. But I'm so glad that she dumped him. No, because you can't always her. listen to the motherfucking news. Kobe is a player. You think he's going to be begging for exactly, the bitch to come back with him? Exactly. She, hey, he ain't got to beg. I'm no, I know she probably won't I him bet you last time she tried to break up with him. He bought her, her a, a million dollar ring or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The bitch stayed with him, so he messed up again. Let's see what he buy this time. I bet you she not going to leave that man. I bet you. <laughs> it's already finalized. She's gone. It's not finalized. She petitioned for a okay. divorce. That means she's thinking about it. So, hey, if you want to spend some more money on her, that's just, she's just going to get him for another three. And that's nothing I understand. Oh, but, black but woman these days. she ain't black. Oh, no, that's all I'm just going to get. But, so, she could go so dig. It's black. okay for her to go dig. She's a fucking Guatemala. Or whatever the fuck. She's not yes. black. Uh, so she she's Mexican. Black. She no, she's not black. mixed with black either. Uh, Go to Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe don't blame black women. The last black woman he fought in. Nobody don't date black women because they ain't for the nigga. Right, right. Well, he, but, you just, but you just contradicted what you just said. You can't blame her. She's from Guatemala. So <laughs> she's probably rubbing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he just want to talk. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna talk with him, but um, yeah. Speaking of that, I'm so glad it, it's about time for that peanut head motherfucker to see what's going on in real life because Kobe girl go end up finding her another athlete. You thinking everybody don't want Kobe's girl? She gonna find her another athlete. She probably hook up with Tiger. But my whole thing is. After that whole little rape in North Carolina or whatever the fuck he did to that white girl, hmm, his ass should have been on the chopping block since. And she was trying to break up with him then, but they worked it out. You know, he worked it out financially. Yeah, do you know Diamond's our girl's best friends? That nigga bought her a big one. But um, I mean, I want to say Diamond's every girl's best friend because I remember the time I, um, we broke up and I took you to Popeyes and we were school. <laughs> He put extra biscuit, extra honey on the biscuit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he let me choose two sacks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's lying. But, <laughs> but, um, oh, yeah. And also, uh, rest in peace, Slim Duncan. It's one of Gucci's, um, rappers from, what's Brick, that? Brick Squad. Big Monopoly. Squad Monop- Big Brick Squad Monopoly. He was shot, uh, gunned down during his video shoot for he his wasn't, He wasn't gunned down. He was shot once in the chest. <laughs> After argument. So, let now, my now, rumors... Ray Ray was gunned down. Let my rumors free... Go flow free, okay? So, he was shot once in the chest, according to, um... Mr. Moore, 
Atlanta. Channel.com. <laughs> he was shot once in the chest uh, during his video shoot in a room with 20 fucking people there okay. over an argument that he got into. What the fuck is the world coming to where a nigga come in a motherfucking studio on a video set and shoot you in front of your motherfucking entourage? There is some bullshit. First of all, you mentioned entourage. Obviously, the man that had an entourage said no shots were returned. Well, maybe his entourage got ghosted after they seen motherfucker. Maybe his entourage wasn't strapped, but he had maybe to he have people. Was, he had to have somebody there with him. Obviously, he didn't. Well, and I heard Gucci was supposed to be there later on that day because he was featured in the song. Yeah, Gucci was there. Um, I guess he got the later off the dude got shot and shit. Yeah, that's just crazy. That is so crazy. Um, at five thirty in the after fucking noon. Yeah, see, niggas gotta know. You gotta watch who the fuck is around you. He gonna get. You spotted. gotta watch the motherfuckers that's around the people that's around you. All right, because you know it's only that's not like a setup right there. <coughs> but they should know something because, like you, like I said, you know niggas um, Somebody gonna talk. I because I that's... think Walker did it. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Walker Flock killed that boy. Flocka! <laughs> Flocka! <laughs> Please. Um, you gonna start rumors. But, um, yeah, that's fucked up. Like, on your own video set? Like, where is the justice, Atlanta? Where is the justice, America? That's what I heard about something I have. No, I know it's not. Mm-hmm. Oh, Another thing, so I'm watching the news, and some sick motherfucker is going around to these stores putting goddamn needles in the clothes and all over the products. They ain't caught your mama yet. <laughs> that is fucking sick. Like, who in the? How do you catch a a fool like this? Like, it's scary. Just watch watch yourself. Be very careful. On. It's particularly been happening at Walmart. So when you do your Christmas shopping, especially on Black Friday, Lord Jesus. Um, Black Friday, bingo. When well, I'm Black Friday, the day after Christmas. Well, what do you call it? Black whatever day. Black Monday. I don't think you saw Black anything. Okay, whatever. I think so, you just call it day after Christmas. <laughs> so when you okay, so when you do the day after Christmas, say, or when you do your Christmas shopping because it's before Christmas and they already started this foolishness. Hey, well, me, so, do, you, do you know why they call it Black Friday? Just because they know when they cut the prices down, all the broke motherfuckers, which are black, is gonna come in. That's why it's called Black Friday. For all the black broke motherfuckers, come get them deals. So just be careful on how you pick up your items and the way you touch things, because the world is going crazy. Um, I don't know. I guess this pretty much sums it up for today. I really enjoyed you. I hope you enjoyed my voice in the background because he damn sure enjoyed fucking up my whole concentration and my whole video spiel. And he just confused a lot of things that I um plan to talk about. But uh, it's good to have a little co-host, little co-host for the show. Um. I don't know. I oh oh oh. So I'm looking for um some hair that to go on um for that's going on sale, preferably after Christmas if they or around the Christmas time. I wouldn't mind buying it. So I'm going to be tuning in to a lot of people to watch their videos and see who's doing the giveaways and the yada yada yada. Um. Now that's it. I wish you all love, happiness, and joy. Just be safe um, and everything else. Goodbye.